All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can render an EV using multiple GPUs in order to speed up your output. And this comes in handy if you have, you know, several thousand frames to render. For a short animation like this, which is only 200, it's not going to make that big of a difference. But if you have several thousand frames, it will make a significant difference. But I only have this set to 200 because this is just an example. All right, let me go ahead and uh, show you what this scene is. That way you can get an idea of what it's going to look like. And this is just it playing in real time through the scene. Simple enough, right? All right, now the idea is just go ahead and set up your scene the way you want. Get it, get everything set up, and there's only a few things you need to set up to get the scene ready for multiple e multiple GPUs and EV and that's over here go ahead and set up your output location but uncheck overwrite make sure that's unchecked and then check placeholders and the reason why we're doing that is because we're gonna open up this same scene in blender twice we're gonna have blender opened twice and each GPU is going to be assigned to each individual instance of Blender. That way both GPUs are working but on their own instance of uh, Blender. And the placeholder, it will allow each instance to insert a placeholder into the, uh, the folder. That way it doesn't, uh, the placeholder will essentially tell the other instance of Blender that that file is being rendered and to move on to the next one. Essentially that's all that is. <clears throat> Alright, now once you get the scene set up the way you want, go ahead and uh, click File, Save, and then you want to close out of it. And the reason why you want to close out of it is because you want to do this. You want to go to your Blender icon, right click on it, and then choose render OpenGL on and then right here you should see a list of all the GPUs you have if you only have one GPU you're only going to see one GPU so this technique won't work but if you have multiple GPUs you'll see all your GPUs right here and in this case I'm just going to choose uh, the first GPU and I'm going to move this or resize this to fill up the left screen then I'm going to right click again and then choose the second GPU and then I'm going to size that down so it fits on the right side of the screen alright then I'm going to open up the same project in each instance alright and now I do this right here just to get the textures loaded and it, it seems to be less glitchy if I do it this way. I go ahead and put it in EV preview mode each one and then wait till all the textures get loaded because sometimes if you don't do this it gets kind of glitchy and then I just go back to solid, solid view and now if I click render animation it will start rendering click render animation on this one and it will start rendering now if I move over the file manager see these two empty files those are the frames that's currently being worked on and again this one is work one GPU is running this one and the other GPU is running this one and you can see how fast it's actually rendering because each um, instance is essentially rendering every other frame but that actually makes it render quite a bit quicker. I mean, you can see that I'm already up to frame 100, essentially. And for a 200 frame scene, it's going to take, what, um, a minute, maybe, to render all of them? Maybe a minute and a half? And if you have several thousand frames, this will make a, an even bigger difference. And like now, I can just go back to the first one right click to open up that image and if I was to scroll through the images there's my output 
simple enough, right? But anyway, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, I actually meant to get a different video up for this morning, but um, it was taking a long time to render because it's a fluid simulation. So I'm putting this out there, and then I'll probably put that fluid simulation out later this week, or I may save it for next Monday, depending on if I want to render more uh, from another angle or something. But anyway, I think that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. Later, people.